Good morning and welcome back to the show. You're watching Summit Sunrise on TV8 Summit. Back here in our Silverthorne studio, joining me of the Breckenridge Fine Art Gallery, Paul Cohen and Jerry George F. Good morning, gentlemen. How Good are you doing? Morning, How are you doing? Good to see you both again here in the studio. And, uh, you know, you've been here. We were just talking about before the uh, break ended that you've been doing these shows in Breckenridge for a while now, for 11 years? 11 years. Yeah, for in a total, the 11th year. Yeah, in, yeah. Tw in twice a year, so a total of a lot of shows there. Mm -hmm. Quickly doing the math. This is like your 20th or 22nd show going on over at the uh, Fine Art Gallery. How do you enjoy, uh, what do you like about being able to come, keep coming back? Because you must like it, right? It, it may not be the worst part about your job. So. Right? To be quite honest with you, it, it's cooler. <laughs> Good. I live in okay. Denver, so it was right. 95 yesterday, and uh, yeah, by the time I got up here, I think at the tunnel it was 48. <laughs> it's quite raining quite heavily. Yes, a little bit of But rain. aside from that, uh -huh. I, no, we, we enjoy uh, working together. Paul and I have been working together now for 11 years, and uh, it, it's a wonderful place to be. And uh, we've got quite a clientele that tend to come back for each show, and we actually have watched families grow over the years. Yeah, that's wow, right. The that's kids have cool. grown up from I four or five. Yeah, They're now fan, sure. young men and They're women. In high you know, school or going in almost ready to different. start buying their own art. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. So we're starting on the second uh -huh. generation now. <laughs> Well, tell me about the Fine Art Gallery, Paul. It's been in the, uh, the community for a long time, and it's also yeah. just been recognized as a, uh, well, with a great award, right? Yeah, this, it's really nice. We want to thank we want to thank the Summit County people, too, and all the, the visitors that come. We've been voted number one art gallery in Summit County for the third year Amazing. running. So that's Amazing. a great honor. We right. feel real privileged. And to be honest, one of the most common things we hear as people come in the gallery is, when we welcome, oh yeah, we always come in here when we're in town. It's kind of their annual, part of their annual vacation is to come in and see what's new in the gallery. Some of them say, one day I'm going to buy a piece, but we're just happy to have people come back in and enjoy right. the, the atmosphere, the art, and go away with something, a picture right. or something at least, even if they don't buy something, that they'll remember us. Tell me about some of the art that you do carry in the gallery. Oh, it's, it's anything from... It's museum quality, it really okay. is. All of our advertising says museum quality fine art. We've got Camille Pissarro drawings from the 1800s, wow. right? We've got some Russian masterpieces worth an awful lot of money on the wall. <laughs> and we've got living artists that we love, like Jerry George Jeff. Jerry, and, yeah. and Jerry is what we call a local living artist, even though he doesn't live in Summit County. Local mm -hmm. for us is Colorado. Jerry's been in our top five selling artists probably since he started, well within a year of starting. And I think the shows have an awful lot to do with that. The fact that he's come in, he meets people, he'll do commissions for people, paint exactly what they want. Amazing. In fact, we're up to about 155 commissions with Jerry alone wow. now. So. You keep pretty busy. Yeah, for <laughs> yeah. the most part, <laughs> yep, stay pretty busy. And mm -hmm. I, I think the important thing uh, that adds to success for doing commissions is actually listening to the client. Sure. Now, they don't always necessarily specifically know what to tell you. Right. But if you allow a person to explain and talk, eventually you get the idea. You start to get that yeah. image of Because I think a lot of artists have their own impression. And inevitably, sure. I do too. But uh, I think it's important to listen to the client and it becomes a true collaboration between yeah. you and the client. Right. Well, you brought a couple of pieces in today, so tell me about the one on the left here, with the, the, the winter piece, <laughs> and uh, yeah. tell me a little bit about that. We're one. hoping for a big snow season. That's, that's what right. That's, what, yeah. that's yeah, why we have it in here, right? Yeah, well, Good. I like that. Things to come. Good. Uh, no, actually, uh, we enjoy doing, uh, or I enjoy doing uh, uh, more recently, painting people skiing, but what's what's begun to happen is a lot of people come in and they'll go, well, can you put, put me in there? And I said, well, absolutely. Right. So often people, in fact, we're working on run right now that yeah, uh, will be uh, uh, looked at tomorrow by the people that I'm doing it for. And typically it's the jacket, the body type, whatever. Ski level. Ski sure. level, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we have a few with skis in the air. But, uh, <laughs> But no, it, it's fun. It's more mm -hmm. of a fun type of painting. That's great. And now tell me about the other piece that you well, brought in Well, the other piece well. in, is in progress. Um, so often we bring something in here, or the B-roll has finished pieces. And actually, this one's probably about 70% uh, completed. But uh, it's kind of fun sometimes to see how a painting is structured. It's like a house. Sure. You know, you see the foundation. Mm -hmm. Then you see, uh, you know, the drywall go up, the studs. And uh, a lot of times, people can't visualize forward. I actually see the finished painting when I start, for the most part. The blueprint is already in your head. Yeah, you, it's yeah. already there. I mean, I kind of know where I'm going with it. Now, it will change mm -hmm. as the painting goes sure. along. 
That's but great. with a commission like that, the people then, when, G, when Jerry's commission at 70% like this, we'll send images to the clients, wherever they are, for their final input. Oh, I really like it. Hey, do you think you could put a little deer in the foreground there or in the beginning? Right. Yeah, go right ahead. Squirrel in the tree. Yeah. Jerry doesn't want you to have a piece you don't absolutely love. And so that's why in 155 commissions, we're working on about five right now, but the 150 is done. So far, nobody has turned one down. Somebody's just going to call up that's right. watching this and say, <laughs> just, I don't want just to prove you wrong. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's a great string of success there, Jerry. And it's um, you know, amazing to be, again, and we were talking about museum quality and the fine art gallery. So it's such an honor to be in an environment like that. What do you find um, that you, again, keep enjoying about coming back to Breckenridge and, and doing these shows? Well, obviously, uh, yeah, it, working with the people in the gallery, we've become a big family. So Great. it's 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 so enjoyable. I mean, you really look forward. But I think the great thing is you do get to find because a lot of times the art is sold. Uh, you kind of know where it's going, but you never get to meet the people. Here, it's a true one-on-one -on -one give and take. In fact, some of the clients that I have now, I've flown to Austin, I've flown to Chicago and stayed with them. Really? And cooked for them. And oh, yeah. for my That's right. As well, so. <laughs> In fact, one of his biggest collectors will be up this weekend as well as coming into town to, to see Jerry too. That's yeah. great. I won't tell you who it is yet. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> It'll be a surprise. There you go. Well, tell me about, uh, or what times are you going to be in the gallery when the shows are happening. Uh, officially, the happening? summer shows are Friday and Saturday from okay. 3 till 7. Mm -hmm. But Jerry's often in during the day because not everybody can be in town at that time. But th that's when the official show is. So you're welcome to come in anytime. We're open great. from 10 to 8, seven days a week. And we're right on the corner of South Park and South Main. I think everyone knows it's the purple awning at the That's corner. That's right, of right in the corner. <laughs> yeah. yeah, very easy to find south end of Main Street. you got to go in there and uh, see all the great art that you can find at the Breckenridge Fine Art Gallery. And... Uh, then see Jerry at work here, and you, well, you'll be working on this piece here this weekend? Oh, uh, yeah, or actually I will, okay. and uh, I have some blank canvases as That's great. well. And often, sometimes, people will come in with their children, and uh, uh, I'd rather have them just stand there and look, I tell the kids, come on over, let's paint with me. That's awesome. And we love to have families in. Kids deserve to be surrounded Everyone by welcome. fine art. Oh, very We're much We're not so. a stuffy city gallery. It's <laughs> great. Well, you got to go in and again, check it out, Breckenridge Fine Art Gallery. Also online, you can see them there, but always best just go in in person. Paul, Jerry, thanks so much for coming thanks in for this morning. Good to see you guys. And Paul, this is your farewell show, so I have to say best of luck, yeah. best wishes to you on your next endeavor. Thank so, you very much. Very it's been a really guys. wonderful time, the 12 and a half years we've been here. In well, it's been a pleasure having you here. All right, we are going to take another break. Keep on moving with our show here this morning. We'll be right back after this. Don't go anywhere. <laughs>